1945 to 1998, 2,053 nuclear bombs exploded on this planet. The United States detonated over half of them. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. When the first nuclear bomb was exploded in Trinity, Robert Oppenheimer, one of the founding fathers of the nuclear age, said, we have done this before. It could have been that Oppenheimer was speaking about weapons described in the ancient Sanskrit texts like the Mahabharata. In which they refer to a bolt of iron charged with the light of a thousand suns. This bolt of iron was hurled in anger and led to an explosive event which is very graphically described in this religious scripture specifically showing all the key indications of radiation sickness and the various problems with nuclear weaponry that we've come to expect. When we started detonating thermonuclear weapons, atomic weapons, and developing these sort of destructive technologies, the civilizations that have been watching this planet for millennia said, oh my God, these people are going way off the reservation. They are now an existential threat to themselves, but also to other planets, potentially. All over the world, we see very conclusive evidence that ancient people were in contact with extraterrestrial life. The Japanese said that their civilization was given to them by a people they called the Dogu, who came from what they described as Anemono Toribune, which translates as bird boat universe, meaning flying boats from the universe. The ancient Sanskrit writings of India have elaborate descriptions of vimanas or flying craft. These texts are thousands of years old. They predate any conception that we have of spacecraft or aircraft. But evidence is not just found in ancient texts. It is also captured in our ancestors' art, as if it was plainly obvious that ET vehicles appeared in ancient skies. It is a foregone conclusion by most broad-minded people that we are not alone in this universe. The question is, how close are they? And we all looked up at once. It was almost like an intelligence told us, hey, look over here, we're here. We saw three red lights in a triangle almost directly overhead. I saw these things and I ran inside and got my brothers and sisters. It actually lifted up and it could actually turn. I'm gonna ask you to look away. I love my hands, but I wasn't one who believed that you first might exist. I was satisfied with this. The life I have isn't what I'd seen. They estimated a hundred yards from the left wing the was this hundred foot disc. A lot of the astronauts are told to keep it quiet, and they're good Americans, too. They develop the film from the moon, everything that's done by NASA. No! There's so much evidence out there that even if less than 1% is true, that would be enough to collapse the current paradigm and change 
the whole planet.